In this video, I'll show you how to use a Coral Pleth map inside of a dashboard. I've already connected the designer to a data source. You can add a map by clicking the button here in the ribbon, and you'll see we have an empty world map. To bind it to data, you need to associate the map shapes with the data source field values. Map shapes have a set of attributes, like the name of a country or a state. You need to select the attribute that has the same values as the data source field values. Click the Options button next to Attribute and use the Preview button to see a table with attributes for a world map. You can use a set of default maps that we ship. You can provide custom maps in a shapefile vector using Load or Import Map. I'll select USA. You'll see the Attributes table with a list of states and data. Drag and drop the state field to the attribute placeholder and the revenue year to date field to the value placeholder. Map shapes will be colored based on the revenue sales for different states. Hover the mouse over the required state to see its name and corresponding revenue. I'll use Edit Names here to rename it. Let's check out all the coloring options available. Click the Options button next to Revenue, and here you can adjust the palette and scale settings. The Color Palette group allows you to choose whether palette colors are selected automatically or using specific colors. I'll change it to Custom, select some colors, and click Apply. You can also use a percent scale or absolute scale to define a set of colors. You can also choose a number of levels to determine the number of colors in the map. To specify a custom range, enable the Allow Edit checkbox and add the values in the preview. To filter the map, use Edit Filter. Here, specify the required filter criteria and click OK to filter the map. The map will only color states whose names meet the criteria. To reset filtering, use the Clear command. You can, you can also enable the Top End feature, which allows you to only color the top state's revenues. Click Undo to cancel this last operation. Let's look at another type of Coral Pleth map. Click the Options button next to the empty value placeholder and switch the map type to Delta. Click OK and drag Revenue Year to Date to Actual and Revenue Year to Date Target to Target. Click the Values button in the map's caption to switch over to the Delta map. This map indicates the difference between the actual and target values of the revenue. Take a look at the tooltip. It shows the absolute variation between the actual and target value. You can change the value type to percent variation under Options. Now the percent variation value is shown in the tooltip. Let's also change the result indication option and threshold values to highlight states with the worst difference between the actual and target values. Let's make this map a little more interactive. I'll add a grid and bind it to the state and unit sold year to date fields. Select the map and go to the data tab and enable multiple master filter. Select the shape or multiple shapes and you'll see the grid filter accordingly. Click Clear Master Filter to reset filtering. You can also select multiple states by holding the Shift key. Or use the Ignore Master Filters button to make it unaffected by master filters. Let's look at navigation and layout settings. The Show Caption button allows you to show and hide the map's caption. Edit Names allows you to change the name of a dashboard item or specific maps. Use Open to select a default map or load a custom map from an existing shapefile. Lock Navigation disables zooming and scrolling. 
Full extent allows you to display the entire map. You can also manage labels and tooltips. Here you can select an attribute from the drop down list or from the preview window. You can also specify the attribute whose values are displayed within tooltip titles. To do this, disable the Use Binding Attribute option and select the right attribute. Finally, you can show additional values within tooltips. To do this, drag and drop the Unit Sold Year to Date field to the tooltips data items area and hover over Map Shapes to see the result. Use Show Color Legend to display map legends that show corresponding values. You can set the legend's position and orientation using the options in the Design tab. And that's it for this video. If you want to learn more, check out our documentation at our website. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.